I'm recording. Do you happen to know so so good? This is our first time seeing it in this book. So we have the water, the needs it. So it has to do with water. It has does, and this is a verb. This is a verb. It's an u verb, so it might have something to do with pouring. Pouring it water. It does. It means to pour. So so good. Pour. It doesn't have to be water, so but it's probably water. It could be tea, though. You could so so good tea. Um, what was to pour in uh, Japanese? I... So 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 good. Hi. What's the te form of so so good? So so good. De. So so good good good. Um good um de um. So so de. Good. Hi. Pick that so so de out. De. So so de. So so de. Oh wait, never mind. Ah, you messed me up. <laughs> it's eat de. Ah, from ku. Eat de. I haven't seen ku in a while. So so i de. That's why um de sounded weird. So so i de. So so i de. Ah. It's eat de. Hi. It's not um de. I de. Cause ku like kai de. Wait. So forever kaku, kaku makes kai de. So if you added a kagu, ah, uh, uh, kai de. It's i de. If it if it had been ubu mu, it would have been um de, um de. But this so, is so. this is ku, ku and gu with gu gu hi. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book and. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ah, uh, neburi wa. Okay, jibun no chikara. That is not chikara. So it's kap. Kap. Ni. Ocha o. So soy de kara. So this kara come after a de form of the verb. That means that this kara means because. Sadly, no. So when it normally when it's after a verb, it does mean because. That is correct. However, it actually has to end be like any form of the verb except for te form. Te form with verbs is actually still gets that from meaning, meaning after. So if this was so so gu, so so nda, so so ite ita, any of those, it would mean because, but te form is the exception. So te form plus kara means after. Hi. Um, after, neburi pours the tea onto the cup that is his. Ore o ore no cup ni mo sosoi de kureta. He also pours for me Onto my cup. Perfect. Can you say kapu in Japanese for me? Kapu. Hi. Try, try putting a little glottal stop in there. Kapu. Kapu. Hi. Kapu. Um. Do you remember how to what the spreading word was? Hmm. To paint. Na na nori. Good guess. It's it's just nuri, nuru. Nuri. Hi, hi. How about to carry? Nuri. Oh my. Ah, uh, this is always getting me. U. Uh, gun. Sadly, no. It's gun ha. De? Ha. Ko. De. Hakonde. From hakobu. Hakonde. How about and leftover? Nuri. Hi. Nokori. Hi, no kori. This yes, you remember no kori. How about poor? So soy de. Hi, so soy de. Do you know how to read this guy in the bold? 
Oh my goodness. Um, to flow. Hi, hi. Nagare komi. Like a flow into. Is that right? Yes, perfect. Yep. So, nagareru is what we saw in the last one. This one is the one that is the subject doing it that you've talked about before with how God's marking the subject of the sentence. Like the river flows. Kawaga nagareru. Nagasu. So the same reading of the kanji is when we have an object. We're making something flow. So one second, I'm going to go backwards. What is this Hi. word? Mm. Mm -hmm. Hakonde. Hi, what's the dictionary form? Hakomu. Good guess. It's actually bu. Hakobu. Mu is a good guess. Akobu. Mu does conjugate that way. How about this one on the bottom? Nuru. Hi, Dictionary perfect. form. Perfect. How do you think you read this word? Mm. Nagashi komu. Perfect. So earlier we saw nagare komu, which was over here in this example sentence. The river nagare komus into the alley. The river flows into the alley. What do you think nagashi komu means? <laughs> nagashi, we is right. come from nagasu, right. meaning I make something flow. Like I exactly. make my I make ocha flow ocha. into ocha flow. I yeah, my ocha. Yeah, perfect. So, Komu is into, yes, I pour my cha into the cup. You could possibly use it for that. Um, nagasu is to flow, which is a little bit different than pouring. So pouring is focusing on this like physical action right here. Nagasu is the flowing in general. So it could include the pouring, but with it, uh, it, 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 it it's focusing on the flow of the item more so than on how the item got there, right? So like pouring into like feels like you got your container, it's in this container and you tip the container and the water comes out. So that's like the pouring action. And nagareru, so nagasu can occur with this, but it just, it has like different meanings. So if I said, I flow my tea into the cup, that sounds weird, right? I flow my tea into the cup. Mm -hmm. That sounds weird. That sounds what do weird. I flow? I, I, I can but flow I my make, poetry. Yeah, you can, yeah. Or you make um words flow out of your mouth, or you make the boat flow down the river. Float down the river, but that that'd be like the I E behind it. So you could make your tea flow, but it's probably not from pouring it. Uh most likely maybe you'd get like a you'd make the flooring horizontal and you had some water over here going down so that it would flow down. So you'd pick up some like plank or something to make something mm. flow. Uh, I can anyway. make the wind flow. Yeah. If I was an airbender. True, 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 true. Or water I, bending I can, I can too. You can flow water. I can flow. I can flow water. Anyway, this is being it. used uh, metaphorically, I guess. With the with him eating a muffin, but yeah, let's go read the sentence. Hi, ore wa ocha o nonde. I drink the tea. Hi. And muffin o nagashi konda. I flow the muffin. Hi. Why do I flow? How do I flow the muffin? Probably what does using flowing the, the muffin mean? He's he, he's probably he probably takes a bite of the muffin and kind of washes it down with tea. Most he most likely that's the what muffin. he's doing. He makes the muffin he, 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 goes through the <laughs> the throat yeah. with the with the ocha. Hi. He's, he's, he's swallow it down basically. Soul soul. Swallowing down that. I blow the muffin. <laughs> I blow the muffin. I get it. I... Like like blowing a boat on top of the river. He exactly. blow the muffins with through the his throat with the ocean. So, so. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, kajiru is a word we've kind of seen before, but not exactly. Do you know what kajiru means? It might have been something to do with biting. Hi, it does have to do with biting. Kajiru is kind of like to bite. A little bit of a gnawing feeling sometimes. But yeah, let's. what does it say? Muffin o kachita. So I gnaw the muffin. I ripped I, into it, I guess. Probably not that aggressive. Um, but yeah, it's it could be like to munch on or to um he could, for example, break up the muffin into smaller beets and throw it in his mouth like it's popcorn. Kajiru. Uh kajiru on corn. You're biting around the muffin. So most likely if you took the muffin and it's threw the whole muffin in his mouth, they probably wouldn't use kajiru. Um, but if you took a bite out of the muffin and there's some muffin left, you know, got a little bite out of it, then that would be like, would be kajiru. Because he's going to eat it in multiple bites. Mm -hmm. So uh, it means to take a bite of something. Yes. To take a bite. Hi. Um, do you know what tazuneru means? Tazuneru. This is in the context of Oreva Oikakete. Tokue kunda yo, Oreva Oikakete, Tazaneta. Tokue kunda yo. Where are you going? Oreva Oikakete. I will follow Tazaneta. Oikakete means I catch up. Oikakete, I will catch up. Well, it's not will, it's past tense. I caught up. I I caught up. But then, so what is tazuneta? Tazuneru is mm. to ask. Where are I you going? Ask. That's the tazuneru right there. Tazuneru. It's tazuneru. kind of a fancy way to say to ask. I'm for uh, I ask hmm. I ask some kind of fancy question. Tazuneta. Okay, so now we're back in the book and we have Khan talking. So let's go read the sentence. Kore kara doko e iku wake neburi ni tazunete. Mata muffin o kachiru. Okay, so nebri. I ask nebri. Hi. Kore kara doko e. From here on out, where to? Exactly. Iku wake. So wake is kind of in this case to meaning go. to plan, kind of is what the wake is doing. Uh, wake mm. means like, do you have any reasonings for where you're going from here? Is there a reason any for reason? our next post? Any reasons exist? So wake, wake is well, a weird word here. to translate a lot of times. So here, it's just not really like, do you have any, it basically is making it into the, like, do you have a plan? A plan. What is the plan so, so. from here on out? Where are, where are we to go? Hi. Ask, I ask nobody. Mata, while I was, not while, but still, mata, still. Muffin o kachiru. Biting the muffin. Hi, hi, hi. So mata isn't really still, like it is a little bit. But in this case, it's 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 more like once again. So I ask the oh, question, and then I take another bite out of the muffin. Now I'm chewing it. Well, I'm waiting for the mm. answer. So I ask my question, then I take a bite. He's very polite, not asking the question after he took a bite, so he's not talking with his mouth full. <laughs> very good job. Well, he did. He did. Nagashikomu, 
So, so beforehand the with the Ocha, <laughs> right. he made sure he was not going to be eating while asking this question. Okay. Yeah, he's got to swallow floated. down, drink some he's water, fl- ask the question. Now I can eat my muffin again. <laughs> no, money. it's not swallowing. He floated it. He, he floated, floated down it his throat. Down. So, so. Before you know, he quite... asked the question, so he was polite. Go ahead, your thoughts. Go it's oh, no, too it's quiet. Quite. So I call it. This is call. Hmm. Eh. What's after call? Do you know? Ko. Kokae. Close. It's actually ta. Kotae. Kotairu. Kotae. Kotae yo toshita. I attempted to answer. Perfect. Do you want to read this location's name? Yasuragi. Meaning a peaceful place. Hi. This is the last one. Day, day. Close. It's actually te without te. without the rendaku. Te for mansion. Um, just so you know, it's been a while, but te taku is a word that you did learn in the past. Te taku, which is literally like a mansion. Versus yashiki, it's like the mansion plus the grounds it's on. So that would include like the driveway and the water fountain outside and stuff. So te right there, it's the same te. And taku from otaku. <laughs> meaning home, meaning, Hi, your, meaning home. your dwelling. Your home, your dwelling. Hi, te taku. Um, do you know how to read this word? Uchi tsuke. Hi, perfect. And that is like the slam into, the throw into something. Okay, so let's go read the sentence from the book. Neburi wa suguni wa kotaezu. Neburi suguni wa quickly. But here it's a Habun? Kotaizu. Oh, Sugu, yes. That is quickly. Um, I, so... I, 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 I'm sorry. I got um... confused for a second. Hi, that is he. he so, Sugu does mean quickly, but here he's, it basically, it's saying Zu. Kotaizu. Like, Kotai yeah. Nai. Oh, no. He you know what tells us? not answer. Yeah, he Without did not answer. Answering quick... Exactly. Yeah, he, In other which, words, he, he doesn't answer. It. Hi. No, this is matte. Matte. Hi, ita. this is mo. The little hand radical right there. Matte looks like that, like from iku. Hi, hi. I messed that up. Okay. Motte ita kami o. The letter that was held was on hand. Do you know what kami means? Because tegami is letter. Uh, what is kami? Kami is a piece of paper. So, so. So, the piece of paper that was on hand. Right. Tabun tegami da. Hi. Why does it have these two long lines? The same reason why we'd have that in English. Mm, um, it's describing this paper, right? So, this kami. A paper. Probably a letter. Probably the letter. Teburu ni ban ban. Pashi, pashi. Right? Oh, pashi, 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 pashi. Is that a tsu? Or is that a she? No, it has to be she. 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 Pashi. Pashi. To. Pashi. Pashi. Hmm. What is pashi? Pashi. Like he slam slam? So. Mm. Um. Uchi tsukete kara. After he uchi. After he slammed the thing. Hi. Kuchi o hiraita. 
Mm, you do something to the mouth. Hi, hiraku is it? Hiraku is the open. He open his mouth. Hi. Yasuragi teda, he said. Peaceful mansion it Hi. is. Yep. Answering the question that Khan asked. Oh. So before he Doko answers e. the question, he slams the kami onto a table. Then he answers it. <laughs> Very mm. dramatic of this old man. What, you mad at So Khan I have something? a question. Yeah. I have a question here, Mani. Hi. So here it says, su su Hi. meaning quickly. Hi. But he di it didn't say suguni, it says suguni wa. Hi. So this wa is in contrast, it's to signify to signify that the fact that it quick, right? I mean it it, it it's an emphasis. Remember what the verb this... is. What is the verb? So instead of saying wa nai, it's saying wazu, right? Yes. Suguni wa nai. Instead of the wanai form, it's what the wazu for, form. Yes, zu it... means without. So this wa and the zu go together. No. In, in in a in a unit in a unit of meaning in a. In the sentence, no. yes. As a grammatical function, no. Zu is the thing that means without. This sentence could just be nebiri wa kotaizu. We are modifying kotaizu with sugu ni kotaizu, then sugu ni wa kotaizu. Wa, as you already know, is the topic marker. With topics in Japanese, you don't need to have one topic. You can have 5,000 topics in one, in one sentence. It, there's no limit to the amount of topics. The point of the topic marker is to add stress to some kind of idea. So the main substance here is that nobody doesn't answer, but specifically he doesn't answer quickly. He doesn't immediately answer. Instead, he's going to uchi tsukete. What does uchi tsukete mean? He slam. Hi. So instead of answering the question immediately, he slams a kami onto the table. After he does that, then he actually does kotaeru. So in this context, the wa is just there because otherwise the sentence is a little bit weird because he does answer at the end of the sentence, but they want to add some focus to the fact he doesn't answer immediately. It's the the speed of his answer that they're focusing on here with the suguni kotaizu rather than whether or not he answers. Because he does answer at the end after he flops the letter on the ground. Because the answer is yasuragite. So wa is adding stress to suguni, which is immediately, which is describing kotaezu, which is to not answer. So he does not immediately answer. Hi. I understand. Awesome. I really like this sentence. This is a very interesting Hi. Yeah, it's so interesting, I think, how you will see these um big line dashes. And they're used the same as M dashes in English. Like it's um I've seen this in other maybe, books as well. It's not special just to the magic thief. Uh, it shows up in Nazi. Maybe I can write. So Mani, so in my mind it seemed as if Oh, can I make a no? Oh no. Um pen. I should be able to annotate. In my uh not on this phone. Oh. I'm on the phone. It doesn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, never mind. It just my my what I'm trying to indicate is that it seems like the entire middle section from right. motte ita ka mi o all the way up to guchi o hiraita. That entire middle section all wraps up inside of that suguniwa it seems to, it feels Hi. to me as if that is the case yes it's like i'm not answering quickly but instead of this you know instead of suguniwa here 
this entire middle section will describe this sukini wa hai kotae zu for you that that sounds like a way to think about it sounds good mm -hmm. hi yep this happens first this kata also means after te what does kata after te mean do you remember we just saw this earlier it means this action follows yes there's another action that's going to follow it perfect Awesome. So now I'll go to the next page. Uh, Iwan bakari. This does not mean what you would guess it would mean. It means as if to say. So it's it is related to iu, but bakari means like just basically like dake. <laughs> Iwan bakari, but it means as if to say, as if saying. Money. Hi. Clarify. Hi. So this bakari, usually by itself, it means only you, right. you you only bakari as in like all you do is talk right you iwa you bakari hi as usual it's all you do right yeah so this uh, right here is like the short form of no hi like, like it's, it's iwa no it's probably iwa nai hi iwa and nai, nai be, well nai can turn into mm. So then it's like iwa mm, bakari instead of only talk. It becomes say, only not as talking. If to, only not as talking. If to say, yeah. only not talking. As if to say. It's an idiom basically. Like it's not an idiom, as but if to say. it's 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 all it has its own meaning. There's a reason why this shows up in the dictionary, even though this is like a grammatical thing, because it kind of has its own meaning versus what you might guess it would mean because you if you were if i had to guess i would have guessed only not saying nothing <laughs> my guess by the grammar uh but it means as if to say so it means they don't mm. say it but they insinuate it um i'm gonna skip that because you already read that today uh can oh. you read the sentence for me so that could be in a function where he he shrugged his shoulder he cut I mean, he say ma, but he didn't say ma. He he shake so, his so, shoulder exactly as as if to say. Yep, that's exactly that, what Iwan Bakari right. can be used. All right. So here it's used in a case where it's say koi to iwa mbakari ni, as if to say come, but he didn't say come. He say Hi. as if to say come. Hi. He now gesture with his hand te o futa. He waves the hand. Yeah. So it's exactly what he did earlier with the I, checking up the shoulder. The shrugging. Exactly. But it makes it more literal rather than being insinuated by context. Uh, Sitsukoi is an E adjective that means persistence. How would we turn this into an adverb? Sitsukoku. Hi. So this verb right here, kiku, is the exact same verb as this one, kiku. These are the same verb. However, these are two different kanji. This is because sometimes you want to insinuate meetings. A lot of times this kanji might show up when someone's asking a question versus listening. As you can tell, this kanji has you in it. Um... Mm. But they are the same verb. It just sometimes they're like, hey, I have extra verb. So if you look in the dictionary under kiku, you'll see a couple little like other kanji that could exist for it, but it's the same thing. Um, what's this kanji? So kiku, but what exactly we're saying that this specifically means to listen, right? It tends to insinuate that. I don't think it has to mean that, but it tends to insinuate that. It's, and it's the like other one it's tends more to likely mean, listening, but it doesn't have to be. The, uh, the other one is more, it's it's ask, asking a question, right? The okay. other kiku. I think the answer is no. So we got kiku and kiku. If you look at the kanji, one of these has you in it, 
Iu means to use words. Iu. The other one has mimi. Mimi is ears. The one with the ears tends to insinuate listening, something you use your ears for. Chiku with the voice kanji iu in it tends to insinuate talking, as iu means to talk, so it probably means to ask. This is not going to be 100% of the time, though. This is purely aesthetics. It makes Hi, it look pretty. I get it. Okay. Once upon a time, it might have been clear, but over time, people start to mix them up. Sometimes it's mixed I, up. I, I feel like I've feeling. seen I've seen both views for. Uh, yeah. Um. What is the ta form of this kanji? So this is a ku ending. Hi. That means that it's an e. Hi. Da. Hi. This is ki ki da. Da. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Dorobo wa jitsukoku. We say jitsukoku was, um, what was it again? Quickly? No, no. Persistent. Persistent. Hi. Ki ita. The thief asked persistently. Perfect. Perfect. Persistently ask. Exactly. So Udasai is a word most Japanese learners know if they watch a lot of anime. Do you know what Udasai means? It means noisy. Noisy. Shut it. <laughs> um, can you tell me what the sentence means? Um Urusai to Iwa Bakari ni. Raise the hand, oh no, no, wave the hand as if to say, noisy, be quiet. Hi, perfect. Um, what's the imperative form of taberu? Just to order someone around. Imperative. You better. To imperative is to put it in the, in the air form. Hi, for u verbs. The F form is tabe. Hmm. What is the F form of the root word? Tabero. Yes, tabero. Perfect. Good job. That was a hard one. And this will be our last sentence but... of the day. Hopefully, you can read it in seven minutes before the meeting shuts down on us. Uh, I have a question about the other one. Never mind. Oh. So oh, do do the imperative form of the root verb Hi. is the same as the volitional form of the no. root verb. Is that right? No. Volitional form of taberu is tabe, tabe yo. Tabe yo. Yo. Not ah, right. so they use the yo sound Hi, hi, hi. To avoid having to use the all probably form of it. Okay, I got it. Sore, sore doko. To, to tazu ne yo to shitara nebri wa urusai to iwa un bakari ni te o furi i kara tabero. Omae wo ga shitsu koku hiku mae ni kotaete yaro to ite ocha o nonda. Hi. From the top, the question asks Sore doke? Sore doko? Doko, he say that, where, where's that? Um, Totazu Totazu Tazune yo. yo. Right, we got Oto so volitional form right here. Tazu ne yo toshitara. Oh man. Uh, what is this Tazune? Tazuneru? Tazuneru is to ask. Yes, tazuneru. So yo is I will ask. 
Then it became Tolsudu. I will ask. I will ask with Tolsudu. Tara. No, so tol when I attempt to ask. Hi, perfect. When I attempted to ask, uh, nebri wa urusai ito iwa unbakari ni te o furi. Nebri waved his hand as if to say, be quiet. I kara. This kara coming after the e meaning because it is good. So it's yes. saying, it's all right. It's okay. Basically, yeah. You eat. I kara a lot of command. times. I, I just let you know, ikara does literally mean when you translate it out, it tends to mean like, listen to me. <laughs> see, that's what it tends to kind of listen. be used. You'll see this a lot in Japanese. Listen. Ikara blank. I mean, listen to me. Ikara, listen to me. Listen to me. Tabero, you eat. Uh, omae ga uh, uh, You are persistent. You persistently ask kiku mae ni uh yaro. This yaro is like mm, what does this yaro mean? It's like ageru, but for like animals. So uh, he's, uh, he's talking he, so down he, the con. Uh, so he say you oh my god uh persistent. So ask. let's go look at red okay. relative clause. We have kiku right here in dictionary form, which is then attached to the noun mae. So mae is before. Hi. Before omae. Oh so before kiku. you. So before you persistently ask, answer yaro. I don't get it. Morning. So, yaru, yaru means to give. Uh, get do, the speaker is giving something to somebody. Yaru is kind of rude. It's like you're talking to your pet. So, nobody who is talking is talking to Khan like Khan is a pet. He says, I will give you a kotae before you ask all your persistent, persistent questions. What's kotae mean? Reply, I will answer you. Hi, exactly. I want to answer before you ask me stupid questions. And then what's the next part? Uh, this, so this whole sentence. And then the next part say, Toite ocha o nonda. Hi. So, mm, what is ite? Hi, it's ite this kanji. Ocha o mean? He said. Hi. He said, he said, and then he okay. drank his tea. Perfect. Okay. Now you get the, you have a minute for your other questions. <laughs> okay. So all together, it's say, listen to me, you eat, I will answer your persistent question before, um, I will give you an answer be before you start to ask me uh, persistently. Perfect. Uh, uh, say, nobody, and then he drank his tea. Exactly. Perfect. Phew, good job. I, I was it. worried we we're gonna make it in time. My other my other question was basically regarding the root in the volitional and the imperative form, but we answer that the imperative Hi. was ro Hi. and the imperative the volitional was yo as opposed to the u verb Hi. which was the e the e form of the u ending. Hi. For the imperative, and then yes. for the volitional, for the u, would be o. Hi. Yeah, it's kind of funny that this shows up if with I the two things you were curious. It, you're correct. Hi. It did correct. show up. It showed yeah. up in the yo. Right here. Remember, tazune yo toshitara. Tazuneru was a do verb. So yo. Ah, so it's tazune yo. Hi. Oh, oh, perfect, Mani. Start the sentence. <laughs> Start, <laughs> please. <laughs> because this thing between an U and the Ru is going to mess up so many students. Yeah. <laughs> um, tabero. Tabero is an U verb. 
Oh. Uh, Luver. 